filming time. I'm very, very excited to be with you all today. Yeah. Okay, so, hello. Um, I normally don't sit in front of a camera and talk, at least for an extended amount of time, but that's what we're doing today because I have something really cool to tell you all about. I have about a three page Google Doc on my laptop of information I want to tell you guys. So basically about like two, three weeks ago, I went to this program called NSLC and it was the best thing I've ever attended, been to, done in my life. Like I'm just smiling thinking about this experience. There's going to be three parts to this video. So the first two I'm filming right now, the first part is going to be kind of all like the facts, what NSLC is, what I expected, what the physical like program structure was like. The second part of the video is going to be what I learned and like what I got out of NSLC. And then the third video is going to be answering any questions anyone has about NSLC. So basically if you have any questions about anything that I'm saying in this video or the next one, you can comment them down below and then I'll make a Q&A video and answer all of those. First off, NSLC stands for the National Student Leadership Conference and it's they offer several programs and fields of interest at different universities across the country. So some program examples are business and entrepreneurship, nursing, law and advocacy, biotech, international diplomacy, game design, media, international business, entertainment management, intelligence and national security, psychology, engineering. So those are just some of like the program options they have. So what you do is you pick a program and you pick a university they offer it at and then so they teach you about your field of interest and they also teach you leadership skills to go with it. How I personally found out about NSLC was I got an invitation, one of someone at my school recommended me for it. I have no clue who but I'm very grateful to whoever did decide to send me. You can also apply, like I'm not sure how the application process works, but I got invited. So basically I went, I picked a program in a school. My parents, I'm also very thankful they encouraged me to go. Like thank you parents if you're watching this. So the program in the school that I picked was Business and Entrepreneurship at Yale University. And I picked business. So for me, it came down to business and media. Media is like my creative like hobby type stuff, but business, I just felt like I'd get a lot more out of it. And then the reason I chose Yale was because, okay, for all you Gilmore Girl fans out there, there's number one reason I chose Yale. Number two reason I chose Yale was because it's Yale. Like, I don't... How can you pass up an opportunity to go to a summer camp at Yale, you know? Also, I just wanted to go somewhere new I hadn't been before, and Yale just spoke to me. I don't know. But basically, I'm going to give you, like, some hardcore facts, I guess, about... The, my program itself. So mine was a nine day program where I learned about business and entrepreneurship with like an overarching theme of leadership. And then there were about 80 kids in my program and we were divided into four TA groups and TA groups are basically like your leadership groups. So like if you ever did like a summer camp, like your TAs are basically your counselors. And we did all of our simulations with like our simulations and um, a lot of our like meetings with our TA groups. So you really got to know your TA group. And then also I forgot to mention that for completing the program you do get a transcript and like a letter of recommendation and stuff. So my expectations, I kind of picture it nine days with your school's top nerds. Like, the annoying nerds. I thought the kids were going to be very, like, stuck up, snotty, like, very into learning, like, ha, huh, I'm better than you. And I remember I felt very excited, but intimidated. And basically, it was going to be a bunch of entitled, prestigious nerds. Because, I mean, it's Yale. 
and I was expecting to learn a lot of like book stuff. I think that's the best way I could put it of what I personally was expecting. But however, that was definitely not the case at all. Um, so my overall vibe of the people, I guess I would say, is that everyone was very driven and motivated, but everyone also knew how to have a good time. So an example would be, you know, we're in our TA groups, like everyone's serious, like down to business, like we got to get this done. We got to like crank out our management team sims and all that. Like I'll talk about that later, but we would like be very driven. But I mean, we would leave our lectures and we're walking down the streets like singing and dancing and everyone just had like a really good positive like, it was just a really positive group. And so basically how I, I kind of wrote it down, how I described the vibe of the program. And I wrote challenging but a safe space to allow everyone to be the best version of themselves and to learn to grow as leaders and as humans, like human beings in general. Uh, everyone could just be who they wanted to and I really respect and appreciate that, so yes. So now I'm going to talk about the actual lessons slash what the schedule was like and that's kind of the main bulk of this video. One of the first things we did when we got there was a ropes course. Hello? Why are you calling me on this number? Bye. Alrighty, as I was saying, so one of the first things we did there was a ropes course and basically this was within I think hours of meeting your TA group we were doing this. We were all forced to become best buds real fast. Like you had to get comfortable with these people really, really quickly. So then we had a professor come and speak to us and his name was Professor Stephen Rogers. He's a Harvard Business School professor. And I think from him, I learned the most amount of book stuff. He was very interesting and I think I definitely got the most like business life skills from him. Then we had TA Business Labs, which are TAs slash counselors. They were the ones that held these. They each had their own little thing. Personally, I didn't get too much out of it. I knew a lot of it from like intro to business and it felt very classroom-y. Like you sit in a classroom, they lecture you for like 45 minutes, you take notes and that's about it. I did learn some new things, but it wasn't the most useful. So two of our main things were our simulations and our simulations were management simulation and product pitch. So management was basically where you go and you run your own company and then for a fiscal, fiscal year, fiscal year, I think. And then product pitch is basically Shark Tank. You design a product, you pitch it. That's what that was. So, so my opinion, I guess, on management was that it was very structured in the sense we were told what we needed to get done each time, but otherwise everything else was up to us, like decisions, creative freedoms, all that. I really liked management because it showed you what it's like to be in charge of your own company and the difficult decisions that come with it. And our main like event for management sim was the press conference. And basically our logo, our logo, so our company was called Abakashi Pineapples. And we were given this company, like we didn't pick it, we were given Abakachi and our logo. So the top of it said Abakachi, but then our slogan was like something like be different, be fresh, like Abakachi something. But Abakachi was spelled differently and none of us noticed. So we're sitting in a press conference in front of like 80 plus people. And I start seeing people I know whispering to each other and pointing at our logo. So I turn around and I look and it's spelled wrong. So I was like, oh my gosh, like hopefully the sharks like, or like the press conference people don't notice. First question, this guy's like, so how do you spell your company name? But like all the people presenting the press conference didn't know it was spelled wrong. So they were all like, what's happening right now? I don't know. It was really, um, I don't know. It was a funny experience. And then for product pitch, I freaking loved product pitch. Like basically we came up with a product from scratch and then this is where I think the real stress of the program kicked in because it was like our main thing. It was a really good opportunity to collaborate and most of the people worked very hard and very well and you could really see that through our presentation. We did our commercial which I had a lot of stress working. I had a lot of stress working on the commercial because the morning of our presentation, we had a financial crisis and that meant I 
had to change our whole commercial about three times, but it's okay. Like, I don't know. I, it was just fun. Because it was this group of boys working on finances. I was like, guys, you need to stop changing these finances on I me. Mean, like, we're presenting in two hours and our commercial keeps changing. So that was that. I also presented our product pitch, so four of us went up. I was one of them. I'm really nervous for it, but it actually went really well. I'm really happy with how our group, how it all turned out. Our group actually won best overall pitch, so yes. Okay, some other things. New York trip, we went to New York. Don't really know what else to say about that. I mean, on the bus ride, it's kind of like you either sleep or you can have some really good conversations. I chose to talk to people the whole time and not shut up. This, I think, was the best part of the whole trip, and it, um, there was this guy named Joel, Joel, and Joel was our leadership guy. He was the one that we had all of our leadership sessions with, and having sessions with Joel was the best thing of the entire trip. I don't want to spoil it for anyone that ever, like, goes to NSLC and, like, or if you ever get a meet Joel, if Joel comes to your school, like, Joel's amazing is what I can say. Um, I'll tell you about, so basically, we did a personality matrix with him, conflict resolution, intrapersonal introspection, or, like, communication, commitment and action, and what I discovered, I think, were our five, like, main events with Joel. And if you have any questions on any of those specifically, you can comment them down below. I'll answer them in another video, just... A reminder for y'all. Basically, all right, I'm just going to give you the facts of what each session was. I'm not going to get into like the lesson part of it because that's my next video. But so personality matrix, you basically learned a lot about personality types in terms of animals. So I learned I'm a peacock and a koala. Conflict resolution, I think, is self-explanatory. Interpersonal communication, which is really about listening to the voices inside your head during that activity. I really enjoyed that one. Commitment and action. It was a really interesting activity, to say the least. And what I discovered happened on our last night there. And you basically, people went up and shared what they discovered throughout the week. And I'll talk a lot more about what I discovered in my next video. Because I personally got a lot out of that. Also, we had socials every night. We had a dyadic encounter. Don't want to spoil that for you. Um, so that brings me to the end of what I wanted to say for this first part of the video. This was all the facts and everything about NSLC and my specific program. If you have any questions at all, please, please, please feel free to comment them down below. But yeah, so part two is coming soon. Stay tuned, you guys. Um, it's going to be a good one.